Have you found out about this Robert character? Robert doesn't exist. You mean he's a sort of mirage? That's fantastic. Nothing so exotic. I mean merely that he has no official existence. Somerset House has no record of his birth, and there is no entry about him in any official records until he turns up on the register of your school. And something else. Although he is on the register and answers in the roll call, he does not figure on the returns the school makes to County Hall. That's astonishing. It is rather unusual. <laughs> well, if I didn't appear on any official records, wouldn't catch me going to school. And if Robert can make things like those pictures, his knowledge is far advanced on what any school could teach him. So why does he go? He doesn't have to and he doesn't need to. Do you think he might be one of us? Well, we've looked into that possibility already. No, he isn't. Well, if he was, we'd know. Of course, there's always the possibility he's an extraterrestrial. A what? Someone from another planet. Well, after all that's happened to me in the last couple of days, I'm not going to say that that's unbelievable. Because nothing is anymore. I've been sifting through the contents of the computers used by the Department of Education and Science. A circular has been issued to all head teachers about this blue and green business. Oh yes, Tim, what does it say? The department are of the opinion that it is just a passing craze, and their advice to headmasters is to ignore it as far as possible. Pity that. Just for once they react intelligently to a problem, they happen to be wrong. We don't know they're wrong, Elizabeth. We may be the ones who are wrong. Well, let's hope we are. I'm not looking forward to school tomorrow. My, we are in a strange mood this morning. Blue badges on one side and green badges on the other. What is this? Come on, mix yourselves up. There are enough colour problems in the world already without introducing blues and greens into the spectrum of hatred. Johnson, come out here. Stay there. Todd? Right. Now, I happen to know that you two are friends most of the time. Not sissy, John the Greens. That's a lot of nonsense. I want you to shake hands and show that you're still friends. Not with a Green. Johnson, no! Stop it! I didn't mean to do it, Miss Honest. teaching career doesn't turn out like this, Elizabeth. So do I. Any news about Todd, Tim? He is all right, Elizabeth. I have checked with the medical computers. He was not badly hurt. He's been treated for shock and sent home. Poor Johnson. The police will charge him. But I don't think the kid even knew what he was doing. I wonder if you can make a court believe that. Well, he didn't. It would be unjust to punish him. He was being controlled, I saw. What did you see, Stephen? Well, as soon as it was over, Robert, well, he looked at the picture. 
Then it changed. It must have been some sort of telepathic command from him. And then Johnson, well, he seemed to come out of his trance. And then when he saw what he'd done, well, he was horrified. I ought to do something to help Johnson. Well, you'll get your chance. As teacher in charge, when it happens, you'll be the key witness. Be careful what you tell him, Elizabeth. Tell him the truth, I think you're mad. I have just had some important information. There have been incidents like yours all over the country today. Fights between groups of boys wearing blue and green badges. Many of them were much more serious. And in Glasgow, Leeds and Bristol, boys have been killed. Oh, no. In some schools, teachers have been drawn into the factions. In Birmingham, a teacher who wore a green badge is seriously ill after a knife attack from boys wearing blue badges. More for him for joining in. You know what this means, don't you? Yes. Robert couldn't have controlled all those incidents. Well, he'd have his hands for his ours, as far as I could tell. Right. So, we have to start looking for a lot more Roberts. Well, Robert did say there were others who helped him. I wasn't sure if he was telling the truth, but he must be. I'll keep after him. See if he leads me to them. No, don't do that, Stephen. I think he may be getting suspicious of you already. I've got an idea which might just work. Hey, John, you never took that picture away. Must have flown away. Ah. Oh, here we are, Mrs. Entwistle. Oh, a little on the heavy side. Can you manage it? Yes, that's fine. Let's open Thank the door you. for you. Here we are. Morning. Yes? Uh, remember me? If it's about the rent, I'm not paying until the pipe is fixed. It's nothing to do with the rent. I, uh, I came in here the other day and bought a painting off you, painted by your grandson. It's no refund. It's company policy. What's wrong with it, anyway? There's nothing wrong with it. I don't want any money from you at all. In fact, I might be in a position to give you some. I knew it. You're an insurance salesman. Get out! Go on, get not out an away. insurance salesman. I'm a journalist. A what? A journalist. Journalist. I write articles, and I thought I might write an article about your grandson and his amazing paintings. I might be able to pay for some information. Ah, sir, yes, well, hmm. If you'd like to step this way, I'll see. Yes, yes, well, I will. No, you cannot see Robert. Robert is not in. Robert is out. Oh, well, um, maybe I could look down the cellar, see where the genius turns out his masterpieces. You cannot go down into the cellar unless Robert allows it. But you wouldn't know. It's just one quick look. You will go now. But I, I just want a quick look. I mean, he... Time for me to shut the shop. You must go now. Oh, all right. I'll tell him you called. Maybe he will get in touch with you. Go now. Go now. Now leave him to me. Mm, I must say he's a strange old geezer. Yeah, it's almost as if he's in, under some sort of hypnotic control, like a zombie. Doesn't seem to know what he's doing from one minute to the next.
Cripes, look at the picture. Let's get him down to the Off your hands. Leave it alone. Get away from that picture. Hey, watch it, John. John, stop it. Please stop him. Sure. about non-violence. You're right, kid. Yeah, just... Being controlled by the picture. Well, there's not much left of it now. Well, where's he gone then? Jaunted off to cause havoc somewhere else. He didn't jaunt. However he went and wherever he went, he did not jaunt. We must go after him. Yeah, we might be able to do that if we knew where he was. So much for your superpowers. Before John disappeared, he and I had been collating the information we have got so far. In every school or college where the blue and green craze has really taken root, there is at least one picture like the one in your classroom. In every case, the picture was painted by a pupil. And each of these talented pupils has a notably hazy background. They are all looked after by a single elderly person of the same sex. None of these elderly people can remember a time when they did not look after their children, nor do they seem to recall how they came to be caring for them. A trust fund based on a numbered Swiss bank account sends money every week, and none of the children are mentioned in any official records. <laughs> 